Well, firstly, um, my being at one with God doesn't determine whether you can be at one with God or not. You can be at one with God without me. So, so the truth is that you don't need to wait for me to be at one with God before you are. And so that's very important for everyone to understand that this is about your individual journey with, towards God. And so for, therefore, at one with God is totally about your desire and how you exercise your desire and passion. So please don't feel that if something happened to me, if I died tomorrow, that all of a sudden that you wouldn't be able to be at one with God by on earth, because the truth is that you can be. And if you follow the different things that I've already taught you, you will be uh, at one with God while you're on earth. If, if something untoward doesn't happen to you as well. However, that all being said, my feelings are quite strong that um, that nothing will happen to myself or to Mary. Uh, and, uh, and while I can't ever be certain of that, uh, because obviously there are lots of different factors involved in predicting that, and I feel that it is quite, I feel quite strongly that it is God's desire that these truths are demonstrated in the experience by someone actually experiencing them on earth, just as I felt on earth in the first century that it was God's desire for me to be at one with him in order to demonstrate the truth that that is available to every person on earth and in the spirit world. So I just feel quite strongly that these truths are all going to be taught, whether I'm the person who teaches them or one of the others of the 14 of the people that teach them. And I, I can't be certain. And I don't even know whether, in fact, you, one of you might be the person who teaches them if something does happen that, uh, that where, where I, for some reason, don't follow the path and my law of attraction changes. But the, the risk of something happening to me is very dependent on two factors. One factor is me um, denying my own soul. As soon as you get into a state of denying your own soul, you can set up a heap of events from that moment onwards that cause the law of attraction to keep into operation in order for you to actually start accepting yourself. So if I chose to deny myself, in other words, I started drinking and smoking and doing all those things that I, we've talked about that you might do in denial of the soul, and obviously if I start denying myself, things would happen quite rapidly to me that would correct that, 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 that disharmony with love. The second thing that happens is, uh, is that obviously if I don't have a desire to do it, so if I don't deny my own soul but I have no longing to connect to God, then obviously my connection with God won't be good because I'm still under the same laws that you're under. And when I, once I pass in the spirit world, I might be triggered and remember some of the things that, I, that, that, that caused me to open that back up again. But, my passion and feelings, as you know, are quite strong about connecting with God and never shutting down my own soul. So I can't really see those things ever occur. But some of the others of the 14 are shutting down themselves at different times. And because of that, are experiencing some very negative laws of attraction. And in fact, John, the Apostle John's passing was, was one of those events. When the, he desired to shut down his own soul, and within a month and a quarter he was there. So he died from being murdered. So uh, those events can happen very rapidly, particularly for one of the 14, if they choose to deny their own soul.